Live shots from Century Plaza Hotel and Spa. And as we come back, before we hit the back parking lot, I want to show you this video. Thankfully, this child was safe after the car seat was ejected from the car itself. Uh, Sean from BCAA is joining us. And we did this segment a couple years ago about safety of installing these car seats. Uh, this one for a little older. But what is the most common mistake parents are making with the install? Parents are making lots of mistakes, but some of the mistakes include not having the right car seat for the size and age of child, uh, not installing it properly, and generally just not checking it to make sure that it's staying installed properly. Size and age, uh, size, weight, how do we know when we're looking at the car seat we've got the right one for, for your child? You know, the first rule of thumb is always read the manufacturer's instructions. Uh, you can check out bca.com for more information. But uh, in general, rear facing for a little baby, keep it rear facing as long as possible. And then when they graduate, this seat here, that would fit like a three year old, somewhere around 30 pounds. Uh, and that's what we're going to install today. Okay, so let's get going with the install. And I'll shift over here so we'll, uh, we can get a close up of uh, basics we need to keep in mind. So this is uh, basic. All cars and car seats are different. Uh, but this will give you the, the, the general feel for it. So first, you want to make sure that it fits the seat properly, it's nice and aligned, and you want to make sure that there is a tether point on the seat. So we earlier checked for that tether point, and we'll check that out in a second. Then you want to reach down here, and you want to find the universal anchorage bars. Those are little bars that your car seat's going to hook into, and most vehicles since the early 2000s have them. Then we're going to want to just click it in. So it's almost like a, a seat belt just in the back to click the seat in. It's just like a seat belt. Uh, then you climb in, you do the other side. And is that standard for most cars right now that they have those bars on the back seat? It is. Since the early 2000s, they've been in all vehicles. So now it's clicked in. Then you're going to want to tighten it. And when you say tighten, what straps are we looking at? So you're grabbing the strap here. You put a little pressure in here wiggle it back and forth and just get it nice and tight. Some car seats you have to tighten it on both sides, some the strap goes all the way through the belt path. It just depends on the car seat. Now we're going to check it. You grab it right here by the belt path, wiggle it back and forth just a bit. Anything under an inch of movement and you're good. So that's pretty tight. Now we're going to tether it. Tethering ensures that the car seat never flips forward in the event of a crash and it's very important. So we go to the back for this part. Go to the back. Climb in. Here's the tether strap. Nice and straight, no kinks. And then we're just going to loosen it a bit. And do you find with this tether strap, this is a common mistake made on the finishing touches of the install? This is a very common mistake. Uh, and it's something that's very important to make sure that you don't miss out on. Reach down, clip it in, and tighten it. And you'll see that car seat is not going anywhere. Okay, so we know that's secure. And as uh, you, you've got a doll to, to show actually how to put the child in. Absolutely. What, what about secondhand car seats? When is it a good idea uh, to use that if you're trying to save costs? Is it ever? You can use secondhand car seats, but only on one condition that you 100% know the entire history of that car seat. That means you got it from a friend or a family member that you trust. You know it's never been in a crash, it's never been dropped, and you have to make sure that it hasn't expired and that it is Canadian. Okay, good tips right there. And then for the actual. Um child going into the seat, what are some keys to uh, keep in mind? So first, this is uh, the equivalent of a 30 pound three year old. Place the child into the car seat. Then you're going to want to put the straps over the shoulders, like so. Make sure there's no kinks, everything's nice and straight. And then you want to click it in. One, two, then you're just going to pull it tight. Once you get it nice and tight, you can click, you can check to make sure that it's the right tightness. And by doing that, you basically put your finger right here by the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And if you can just get your finger under, that's, that's the perfect tightness. Then you want to click the chest clip and you want to align it with the top of the child's armpits. And that child is in there nice and secure. And on the BCA website, do you guys do workshops for car seat installs as well? We do workshops. We have full instructional videos. We have downloadable PDFs so you can take it out to your vehicle with you. Yeah. We have all the information. And if you are still having problems, give us a call and we'll talk you through it. Excellent. Great tips right here. Sean, thanks for coming by. We were going to bring Nico, but he's too busy screaming at Lori right now. So uh, we just figured that all would uh, work for the demo. Excellent. Thanks, Sean. Thanks we'll for having me. Take a break. Russell Kate.